A Central Florida boy is defying the odds, surviving and even thriving despite a rare condition. His parents were told he wouldn't live more than a few days. He was born without part of his skull and brain. Now he is mm. 14 months old and living in Tavares, and he's even starting to talk. His journey has gotten him attention and support from around the world, including the Jacksonville Jaguars. News 6 reporter Vic Michelucci has the story. Doctors told mom Brittany and dad Brandon that their first child wouldn't survive more than a few days. Some suggested an abortion, but the parents, devout Christians, decided to go on. And on August 27, 2014, weighing less than four pounds, Jackson was born. So smart, baby, but you got to keep it there. Born with more energy and life than anyone expected, he grew stronger every day and shocked the experts who lost faith. Yeah. He's our little hero. Oh, good job. There you go, buddy. Now at 14 months old, Jackson shows us he's not giving up. Hi, baby. You're so strong. Look at you, bud. He's starting to crawl. Are you rolling over? And roll over. Plus, he's showing his personality. Give kisses to everybody. We don't really treat him like a special baby. We treat him like any normal child. So we teach him everything a normal mom would teach their baby who has a full brain. His Facebook page called Jackson Strong has about 275,000 fans and a GoFundMe campaign has already raised more than $142,000 for his medical bills. Dad swears his son loves sports. His favorite team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Recently, the Jags welcomed the Central Florida family onto the field before a game. It was a once in a lifetime experience for a boy who is one of a kind. The doctors kind of quit giving him a prognosis. They used to say two weeks, two months, two years. Now they just say Jackson's Jackson. He'll Jackson can't eat on his own. He needs a feeding tube and has seizures often. His future is uncertain, but this so-called miracle baby is showing no signs of giving up. Can you show mommy that you know how to press the buttons? Can you get the button? There you go. Good job, buddy. Jackson's parents say they are cherishing every day they have with them, but they're also trying to get his story shared to raise awareness for his condition.